What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I was just gonna do a very like unprofessional review of the oil paints I just got. It's super nice outside, so that's why we're kind of out here, but let's just, let's just get into like my review slash whatever you wanna call it. Oh, hey. Hi. So to start off this review, I got the 24 pack of the Artist Loft oil paints. I didn't really want to invest a lot into like really expensive oil paints just because I personally didn't know if I would like the medium or not, but I'm going to give you guys kind of my opinion on them. I don't think I can say whether I like acrylics more than oil or oil more than acrylics just yet, just because I haven't had too much experience with them and you guys will see why in a minute. So before I started using the oil paints, I obviously wanted to do some swatches just to see the color choices. And I just swatched them and this is the order that they're in and I'll give a better video of it right now. All the colors are super vibrant and what I can say about oil paint is that it goes a long way. It's also very spreadable. Like if is spreadable even a word like I don't know it's very buttery and you don't want to layer it on thick because the thicker you lay it on the longer it takes to dry and that gets into one of my other points of basically oil paints versus acrylics is oil paints definitely dry way faster than oil paints do I'm currently working on meaning of the creator right now but just this section alone just his jacket alone took about four or five days to dry but yeah I'm just gonna keep going like back and forth between the differences between the two I can't believe there's a bug on my forehead and I'm just noticing it one main difference is that oil paints definitely take way longer to dry than acrylics do. The second point that I wanted to bring up is that oil paints are definitely more expensive than acrylic paints. But just for a size comparison, this is the kind of acrylic paint that I buy and it is two fluid ounces. And then this is the oil paint that I buy. And as you can see side by side, they're about the same height, but definitely don't contain the same amount of product. Um, the oil paint has about 0.41 fluid ounces. You're definitely getting less paint for your money. But again, like I said earlier, oil paint goes a long way. Is it time for a painting class? Yes. So another topic that I wanted to get into that I find to be one of the main reasons why I wanted to try oil paints for my Tyler the Creator painting instead of acrylic is the blendability. I'm not sure if that's like a word, but um, we're just going to say it is. So acrylic paints compared to oil paints and blendability is in my opinion pretty different. It all depends on like what kind of mediums you use and such. Oil paints personally, I believe, are way easier to blend as, again, I'm gonna pull up my Tyler the Creator painting, but you could see kind of like the different variant in colors, like on his collar, it's kind of darker and then it's a little bit lighter throughout the rest of his jacket. I haven't done too much of some blending with the oil paints in that painting yet, but they're definitely way easier to blend and create new colors and such. So this is actually a good point because I also have my Walter painting that I did and it's actually like pretty big. This is the Walter painting that I did. And if you don't know Walter, he's like a meme dog kind of thing. So if you look closely, 
I had to do quite a bit of blending in this painting to get those shadows. But again, like I said, if you look closely, it's kind of splotchy and I don't mind that look. I was kind of going for that like look anyways, as you can see with the polka dots, unfinished polka dots and stuff. But um, just like in his muzzle and stuff, it's very, it's not fluent, I guess is a good word to describe that. It's very just gradient. Um, so that's one thing about acrylic paints is that personally I don't think that they blend as well as oil paints. Another thing about oil paints versus acrylic paints is that oil paints are messier than acrylic paints, I would say. I feel as though acrylic paints will definitely stain your clothing compared to oil paints, but acrylic paints, because they dry quicker, they do not get everywhere. So with oil paints, you have to be more cautious because on your paintings, they don't dry in an hour or so. They take a couple days. So not only are oil paints more tedious and such, they can be a little bit messy because as you can see, they could smear everywhere. And it's just very hard to get rid of that color then. But also warn you guys because oil paints do have kind of a fragrance to them. Um, and it's, it can be an unpleasant one at times too if you're not in a well ventilated area. So I would definitely suggest working in an area with an open window and such because those fumes can definitely get a hold of you sometimes. That leads into my next point is that oil paints I would say are definitely more high maintenance than acrylic paints. So acrylic paints, like I said, they're much easier to clean up. Just handling them, all you need is like water, a paper towel to wipe your brushes off, and that's like a canvas, whatever you're painting on, that's all you really need. But for oil paints, you need a solvent to clean your brushes. Like the oil paint will not come off your brushes if you are just using water and it kind of makes it worse. It kind of makes the oil stick to your brushes even more if you use water. You can buy solvent specifically for oil paint, but like I said, I'm just kind of testing the waters with them. So I didn't want to go all gung ho and spend a lot of money on something that I didn't even know if I would like or not. So what I use for my solvent it's just nail polish remover. If you are a guy and you live with girls, whether that be like your daughter, your sibling, you know, whatever, you're bound to have nail polish around, nail polish remover in your house. So that's basically what I use and it seems to work pretty well. And if you look it up, alcohol is considered a solvent for oil paints. So yeah, I just, that's kind of how I save money with in this situation because like I said, I don't wanna go all gung ho on something that I'm not sure that I'm gonna like in the end. So I'm just trying to find as many resources at home as possible and try to help you guys out too in going the cheaper route if you're like me and you're not sure if you wanna go all in on oil paints. So I'm back inside now because I wanted to show you guys the difference between using water for acrylic paints and water for oil paints versus using a solvent. In this case, I'm using 100% acetone, also known as nail polish remover. So let's just get into this little thing here. Okay, so here I have the water, and in here I have my acetone or my solvent, and ignore the color, that's just from like previous paints that I used and such. It's usually clear, and same with the water. But here I have some gray acrylic paint, and I'm just gonna dip my brush into it, and you know, kind of paint around and such, get like some paint on there and everything and as you can see it's dirty so now I'm just going to dip it in the water and really clean my brush off wipe it on the sides and then do a little dab onto the paper towel and as you can see the brush now is pretty clean if I go back onto the paper towel you see that there's no product left on the brush 
So now I'm going to take my oil paint right here. It's just a nice blue color. And as you can see, I'm getting some product on it. It's coming off on the paper towel. And now I'm going to use it in the water. So I'm brushing, really trying to get it off. I wipe it and then I wipe it onto the towel. And as you can see, it's just still on the brush. The product is just still on the brush. And if you were here to feel it, you can feel that it's still very oily. And as you can see, it transferred to my thumb. So all the oil product is still on the brush. And that is a no-no, especially if you're maybe using a different color. So now I'm just taking my brush and brushing it in the acetone or my solvent. And as you can see, all that product came off. I'm now brushing it on the side and notice no product is coming off on the side of the bowl. And then now I'm just patting it dry onto my paper towel and notice that there is no product coming off whatsoever. I'll even run my fingers through the brush and as you can see, no product comes off on my finger. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick visual on why using a solvent is definitely way better and really a must have when you're using oil paints and I hope that kind of put it in perspective. As far as I can tell, it doesn't harm the brushes at all. I I honestly, if I'm being honest, I have cheap brushes too. These were like $5 for a pack of like five of them. So, but even for cheap brushes, it's not destroying them at all, which I really like. So I hope that helped and let's get back into the video. So this is another just kind of minor point, but it's it all depends on how you want your painting to look when it's finished. So acrylic paints obviously dry more matte and like I said earlier, they dry within a couple hours depending on how big your painting is. Oil paints, on the other hand, kind of are finished with a glossy type finish. And I'll show you the comparison now between my Walter painting and my Tyler the Creator painting. But as you can see in the Tyler the Creator painting, it's more kind of a glossy finish and the acrylic one is more of a matte finish. Going along with that, with acrylic paintings, you can use resin, which can help give your painting a more vibrant and glossy finish. And that's also another point to the finishes is that oil paints are much more vibrant and just very voluminous, I guess is a good word to say while mattes or acrylics tend to dry more matte and appear duller than they do when you first paint the initial strokes onto the canvas. So overall, my recommendation of oil paints versus acrylic paints is solely based on your opinion. and overall just how you want your painting to look in the end. That being said, we have determined that oil paints are definitely more expensive than acrylic paints and you get a less amount in them. But the blendability of the oil paints and the vibrance of the colors is unmatched compared to acrylic paints. In the end, your finished product with acrylic paints is definitely going to look more matte than it will glossy and if you're not using a resin it becomes more dull than your first initial strokes. I hope this video was somewhat helpful for you guys. I know, like I said, it's a very unprofessional, unprofessional? This is a very unprofessional review of oil paints because like I said, I'm not an expert at either, at both acrylic or oil paints, but I hope this video helped some of you who are debating between oil and acrylic or just wanted to watch my video to decide on what kind of medium you wanted to use. And I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.